Chapter 1. The Haunted Doll It was a dark and stormy night as I settled into my cozy reading nook, preparing to dive into the spine-chilling tales submitted by my subscribers. With a flicker of anticipation, I opened the first email and began reading a story about a haunted doll. The email was from a woman named Emily, Counted her terrifying experience with an antique doll she had inherited from her grandmother. According to Emily, strange occurrences started happening soon after she brought the doll into her home. One night, as Emily lay in bed trying to sleep, she heard soft footsteps coming from the hallway. Assuming it was just her imagination, she tried to ignore it. But then, the footsteps grew louder closer, until they were right outside her bedroom door. Emily's heart raced as she peeked through the crack of the door, only to see the antique doll standing there, its eyes glowing in the darkness. Frozen with fear, Emily watched as the doll's porcelain face twisted into a sinister grin, and it whispered her name in a voice that sent shivers down her spine. The next morning, Emily found scratch marks on her bedroom door, as if something had been trying to get in. Terrified, she decided to lock the doll away in a closet, hoping to be rid of its haunting presence. But the doll's malevolent spirit wouldn't be contained so easily. That night, Emily heard scratching noises coming from the closet. When she opened it, the doll was gone, replaced by a chilling note that read, You can't hide from me. As I finished reading Emily's story, a sudden chill ran down my spine. Little did I know, this was just the beginning of a series of horrifying tales that would leave me questioning the thin line between reality and the supernatural. Chapter 2 the Whispering Woods. The unsettling tale of the haunted doll lingered in my mind as I moved on to the next email from a subscriber named James. His story spoke of a cursed forest known as the Whispering Woods, a place where the trees whispered secrets from beyond the grave. According to James, the Whispering Woods were said to be haunted by the spirits of those who had met tragic ends within its dark embrace. Legend had it that anyone who ventured too deep into the forest would hear the whispers of the dead, beckoning them to join their spectral ranks. Curiosity piqued, James embarked on a solo journey into the heart of the Whispering Woods. Armed with nothing but a flashlight and a sense of trepidation, the trees seemed to loom ominously overhead branches twisting like gnarled fingers, reaching for unwary travelers. As James delved deeper into the forest, the air grew colder, and the whispers became more pronounced. He heard snippets of conversations from long-gone souls, their voices filled with sorrow and longing. Suddenly, James stumbled upon an old, dilapidated cabin hidden amidst the trees. The door creaked open eerily, as if welcoming him inside. Against his better judgment, James entered the cabin, drawn by an inexplicable force. Inside, he found an ancient journal filled with cryptic writings and drawings, depicting ghastly scenes of death and despair. The last entry in the journal spoke of a curse that bound the souls of the deceased to the Whispering Woods, forever trapped in a cycle of torment. Just as James was about to leave the cabin, he heard a faint whisper right behind him. Turning around, he saw a shadowy figure standing in the doorway, its eyes glowing with otherworldly light. It beckoned to him, its voice a chilling echo from beyond the grave. Without hesitation, James fled from the cabin, racing through the whispering woods 
as the whispers grew louder and more insistent. He could feel the eyes of the dead watching his every move, urging him to stay and become one of them. As I finished reading James's harrowing account, a sense of foreboding washed over me. The whispering woods seemed like a place of nightmares, where the line between the living and the dead blurred into an endless abyss of horror. Chapter 3 The Haunting of Hillcrest Manor After reading about the whispering woods, I couldn't shake off the feeling of unease that had settled over me. But there was one more story in my subscribers' submissions, this time from a person named Sarah. Her tale spoke of a haunting at Hillcrest Manor, an abandoned mansion with a dark past. According to Sarah, Hillcrest Manor was once a grand estate owned by a wealthy family. However, tragedy struck when a series of mysterious deaths occurred within its walls, leading to rumors of a curse haunting the manor. Sarah's curiosity got the better of her, and she decided to explore the abandoned mansion one moonless night. Armed with a flashlight, and a sense of trepidation. She stepped through the broken gates and into the overgrown garden. As Sarah approached the looming structure of Hillcrest Manor, she could feel a chill in the air, as if unseen eyes were watching her every move. The windows were shattered, and the once grand facade was now marred by years of neglect. Inside, Sarah navigated the dusty hallways her footsteps echoing eerily in the silence. It wasn't long before she encountered strange, phenomena flickering lights, disembodied whispers, and cold spots that sent shivers down her spine. The deeper Sarah ventured into the manor, the more she felt a malevolent presence lurking in the shadows. It was as if the very walls of Hillcrest Manor held memories of anguish and despair, refusing to let go of the past. In one of the decrepit bedrooms, Sarah stumbled upon a faded photograph of the family who had once lived there. Their faces were twisted in expressions of terror, hinting at the horrors they had witnessed before their untimely deaths. Just as Sarah was about to leave, a sudden gust of wind slammed the door shut, trapping her inside the room. Panic gripped her as she realized she was not alone. Whispers filled the air, urging her to join them, to become another victim of Hillcrest Manor's curse. As Sarah frantically searched for an escape route, the walls seemed to close in around her. The haunting echoes of the past growing louder with each passing moment. Hillcrest Manor was not just abandoned. It was a prison for lost souls seeking vengeance. Chapter 4 The Curse of the Black Mirror The Stories of the Haunted Doll The Whispering Woods and Hillcrest Manor had left me on edge. But there was one final email in my inbox. This one came from a subscriber named Alex, who shared a chilling account of the curse of the Black Mirror. According to Alex, the Black Mirror was a mysterious artifact rumored to hold dark powers. It was said to be crafted centuries ago by a sorcerer who dabbled in forbidden magics, and anyone who gazed into its depths would be consumed by their deepest fears. Intrigued by the legend, Alex embarked on a quest to uncover the truth behind the Black Mirror. His journey led him to an old, abandoned mansion on the outskirts of town, rumored to be the hiding place of the cursed artifact. As Alex ventured into the decaying mansion, he felt an oppressive presence weighing down on him. The air was thick with the scent of decay, and the walls seemed to whisper ancient incantations.
After searching every nook and cranny, Alex stumbled upon a hidden chamber deep within the mansion. In the center of the room stood a pedestal, upon which rested the black mirror, its surface reflecting an eerie, otherworldly glow. Despite the warnings echoing in his mind, Alex couldn't resist the urge to gaze into the mirror. As he peered into its depths, his reflection began to distort, twisting into grotesque shapes and contorted images of his worst nightmares. The room grew colder, and Alex felt a malevolent presence looming behind him. Shadows danced around the edges of his vision, and he could hear whispered voices urging him to embrace the darkness within. Just when Alex thought he couldn't bear it any longer, he tore his gaze away from the black mirror, but it was too late. The curse had already taken hold, seeping into his mind like a creeping fog. Haunted by visions of his deepest fears, Alex realized that the black mirror was not just a cursed object, but a gateway to a realm of eternal torment. And as he struggled to break free from its grasp, he knew that the horrors he had unleashed would haunt him forever. Chapter 5 The Shadows of Forgotten Dreams As the chilling tales of the haunted doll, Whispering Woods, Hillcrest Manor, and the cursed black mirror swirled in my mind, I couldn't help but feel a sense of foreboding. Each story seemed to weave a tapestry of horror blurring the lines between reality and nightmare. But there was one more story that caught my eye, buried in the depths of my inbox. This story came from a subscriber named Emma, who shared a haunting experience with the shadows of forgotten dreams. Emma's tale began innocently enough, with vivid dreams that seemed to blur the boundaries of wakefulness and slumber. In these dreams, she found herself wandering through a dark, labyrinthine maze, pursued by shadowy figures that whispered her deepest fears. At first, Emma dismissed these dreams as mere figments of her imagination, but as the nights wore on, the dreams grew more intense, the shadows more menacing, and Emma's waking hours became plagued by a sense of dread. It wasn't long before Emma realized that the dreams were more than just nightmares. They were a manifestation of something darker, something that lurked in the shadows of her subconscious, desperate for answers. Emma delved into research about dreams and the paranormal. She uncovered ancient legends that spoke of shadow creatures feeding on forgotten dreams growing stronger with each fear-filled night. Armed with this knowledge, Emma embarked on a journey into the depths of her own mind, determined to confront the shadows that haunted her sleep. But as she delved deeper, she realized that the line between dreams and reality was beginning to blur. The shadows grew bolder, materializing in the waking world as fleeting glimpses of darkness out of the corner of her eye, Emma could feel their icy touch on her skin, their whispered promises of eternal torment echoing in her ears. As the shadows closed in around her, Emma knew that she was facing a force beyond comprehension, a darkness that fed on the fears of the forgotten, and as she struggled to unravel the mystery of her own mind. She feared that the shadows would consume her whole. Chapter 6 The Whispering Gallery The tales of haunted dolls, cursed artifacts, and shadowy nightmares had left me in a state of unease. Each story seemed to peel back another layer of darkness, revealing a world where the boundaries between reality and the supernatural 
blurred into a chilling tapestry of horror. But there was one more story that beckoned to be told, nestled among the submissions from my subscribers. This story came from a reader named Michael, who shared a bone-chilling encounter with the Whispering Gallery, a place where whispers from beyond the grave echoed through time. Michael's story began with a visit to an ancient cathedral, rumored to house a hidden chamber known as the Whispering Gallery. Legend had it that the gallery was a conduit for lost souls, their voices lingering in the air long after they had departed the mortal realm. Intrigued by the folklore, Michael ventured into the cathedral, his footsteps echoing on the ancient stone floors as he ascended the spiraling staircase leading to the Whispering Gallery. A sense of anticipation mingled with trepidation. Upon entering the gallery, Michael was struck by its eerie beauty. The walls were adorned with intricate carvings and stained glass windows that filtered the sunlight into a kaleidoscope of colors. But beneath the surface of tranquility, a deep-seated unease. As Michael listened intently, he began to hear faint whispers drifting through the air, like echoes of forgotten conversations. The whispers grew louder and more distinct, forming fragmented sentences that spoke of tragedy, longing, and despair. Unable to resist the pull of the whispers, Michael closed his eyes and allowed himself to be enveloped by the haunting voices. He heard tales of lost loves, unfinished journeys, and souls trapped in limbo, yearning for release. But amidst the whispers of the departed, Michael sensed a darker presence lurking in the shadows of the gallery. It was as if something malevolent was using the whispers as a guise to lure unsuspecting visitors into its grasp. As Michael strained to decipher the origin of the whispers, he felt a cold breath on the back of his neck, sending a shiver down his spine. He realized that he had ventured too far into the realm of the supernatural, and now he might never escape the whispering gallery's haunting embrace. Chapter 7 The Wailing Woods The unsettling tales of haunted artifacts, shadowy nightmares, and the whispering gallery had left a lingering sense of dread in the air. Each story seemed to peel back another layer of the unknown, revealing a world where the boundaries between the living and the dead blurred into a haunting tapestry of horror. As I delved deeper into the submissions from my subscribers, one story stood out among the rest. This story came from a reader named Sophia, who recounted her harrowing experience in the Wailing Woods, a place where sorrowful cries echoed through the ancient trees. Sophia's tale began with a camping trip deep into the heart of the Wailing Woods accompanied by her friends. They had heard whispers of the forest's dark history, tales of lost souls and vengeful spirits that roamed the woods after nightfall. Despite the warnings, Sophia and her friends set up their campsite near a clearing surrounded by towering trees. As night descended and the forest grew cloaked in darkness, they gathered around a crackling fire, exchanging ghost stories and laughter to ward off the growing sense of unease.
as the hours passed and the fire dwindled, Sophia noticed a change in the atmosphere. The air grew thick with an unnatural stillness, and the sounds of nocturnal creatures fell silent, as if the forest itself held its breath. Suddenly, a mournful wail pierced the night, sending chills down Sophia's spine. It was a sound unlike anything she had heard before, agonizing and filled with unspoken sorrow. Her friends huddled closer, their faces pale with fear. The wailing continued, growing louder and more desperate with each passing moment. Sophia knew they had stumbled upon something beyond their understanding, something that lurked in the shadows of the wailing woods, hungry for souls. As the night wore on, Sophia and her friends heard whispers in the breeze, urging them to leave the forest before it was too late, but their path back seemed shrouded in darkness, the trees closing in around them like gnarled claws. Just when they thought they couldn't bear the torment any longer, the wailing ceased abruptly, replaced by an eerie silence. The moonlight filtered through the canopy, casting strange shadows that seemed to dance with unseen entities. Sophia knew that they had trespassed into a realm of sorrow and despair, where the echoes of past tragedies reverberated through the ancient trees, and as they huddled together, praying for dawn to break and release them from the grip of the wailing woods, they realized that some nightmares were all too real. Chapter 9 The Haunting of Hollow Hill The unsettling stories of abandoned asylums, cryptic whispers, and hidden secrets had cast a pall of unease over my thoughts. Yet, there was one more tale waiting to be unveiled, nestled within the submissions from my subscribers. This story came from a reader named Lily, who shared a bone-chilling encounter with the haunting of Hollow Hill a place where the boundaries between the living and the dead blurred into a nightmare. Lily's tale began with a weekend getaway to the countryside where she and her friends stumbled upon an old mansion nestled atop a hill. The mansion, known locally as Hollow Hill, was rumored to be haunted by the spirits of its former inhabitants. Undeterred by the ominous reputation, Lily and her friends decided to explore the mansion, their curiosity outweighing their apprehension. As they crossed the threshold, they were greeted by the creaking of floorboards and the faint scent of decay that hung in the air. The interior of Hollow Hill was a maze of forgotten rooms, dusty furniture, and faded portraits staring down from the walls. Each step echoed in the empty corridors, as if the mansion itself was alive with whispered secrets. As Lily and her friends ventured deeper into the bowels of Hollow Hill, they felt a chill settle in their bones. Shadows seemed to dance at the edges of their vision strange noises echoed through the halls. A soft, weeping, distant footsteps, and the rustle of unseen whispers. The group gathered in what appeared to be the mansion's grand ballroom, its once opulent chandeliers now draped in cobwebs. It was there that they first encountered the spectral presence that haunted Hollow Hill. A figure clad in tattered garments materialized before them, its eyes hollow and filled with sorrow. It beckoned to them, its voice a haunting melody that spoke of lost love and unfulfilled desires. Lily and her friends watched in awe and terror as the apparition recounted the tragic tale of Hollow Hill story of betrayal, murder, and a curse that 
bound the souls of the mansion's inhabitants to its walls for eternity. As the spectral figure faded back into the shadows, Lily and her friends realized that they were not alone in Hollow Hill. The mansion held the echoes of past tragedies, and the spirits trapped within its walls were desperate for release. With each passing moment, the haunting of Hollow Hill grew more intense, the veil between the living and the dead growing thinner. And as Lily and her friends braced themselves for what lay ahead, they knew that their journey into the heart of darkness was far from over. Epilogue, the awakening, the chilling tales of haunted mansions, vengeful spirits, and spectral echoes had cast a pall of unease over the readers. Each story seemed to weave a tapestry of terror, blurring the lines between reality and nightmare. Yet, amidst the darkness, a glimmer of hope emerged, a chance for redemption and closure. As the night wore on and the story settled like a heavy fog, the readers found themselves drawn to a mysterious old book tucked away in the corner of the room. The book's weathered pages whispered of forgotten rituals and ancient incantations, hinting at a way to break the curses that plagued the tales they had encountered. Driven by desperation and a flicker of bravery, they gathered around the book, their hands trembling as they traced the faded text. With each word spoken aloud, the room seemed to tremble, and a soft glow emanated from the book's pages. As the final incantation echoed through the air, a brilliant light engulfed the room, dispelling the shadows that clung to the walls. The readers watched in awe as the curses unraveled, freeing the trapped souls and banishing the malevolent forces back into the abyss from whence they came haunted doll's porcelain face softened, its eyes no longer glowing with malice. The whispering woods fell silent, the echoes of the dead finding peace at last. Hillcrest Manor stood empty, its dark past fading into obscurity. The black mirror shattered into a thousand shards, its cursed reflection lost forever. The shadows of forgotten dreams dissipated leaving behind a sense of closure and understanding. The whispering gallery's haunting whispers turned into soft murmurs of gratitude. The wailing woods calmed, the sorrowful cries replaced by a gentle breeze. The cryptic whispers in the abandoned asylum ceased, and the spirits found solace in the light of forgiveness. Hollow Hill's haunting echoes faded into the past, its secrets laid to rest, and the phantom of Ravenwood Manor finally found peace, its vengeance sated. As the readers looked around, they realized that they had not just witnessed horror, they had overcome it. The tales that once haunted their dreams were now mere memories, fading into the annals of time. With a collective sigh of relief, they closed the old book its pages now filled with stories of triumph and redemption. And as they stepped out into the dawn of a new day, they carried with them the knowledge that even in the darkest of nights, there is always a glimmer of light waiting to guide them home.